And it came to pass on the twentieth day of the second month, in the second year, that the pillar of cloud was taken up from off the tabernacle of the testimony. And the children of Israel took their journeys out of the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud rested in the wilderness of Paran. Well, I must say Moses has picked a fine site for our new camp. It's half a mile to the nearest water. When you get there, there isn't enough water. At Sinai, we at least had grass for our cattle. This is about the worst desert we've been in. We trust Moses to lead us into it. What I'd like to know is, when are we going to get to Canaan? Never, if you ask me. Well, I've just about had enough. Me too. If only we'd stayed in Egypt. I'm sick and tired of living in a tent. Egypt was paradise compared to this. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. Hiram's been hit by lightning. His whole tent's on fire. Oh, it's the Lord's doing. God is punishing us. Oh. oh, there's fire everywhere. Moses, Moses, help us. Oh, pray to the Lord, Moses, and stop the fire. Pray for us, Moses. Only you can help us. Oh, Lord. Hear the voice of thy servant, Moses. I beseech thee, let not thy anger consume the people with fire. Take away the punishment from them. Let the lightning and the thunder cease. The Lord heard Moses' prayer, and the fire was quenched. But it was not long before the people began once more to complain. I do wish we had some meat to eat. I'm sick of this manna. Manna, manna, manna. Oh, how I hate this stuff. Remember the fish we had in Egypt? And those delicious melons and cucumbers. What wouldn't I give for a big pot of stew with real meat in it and seasoned with leeks and onions? Mm. How about it, Moses? Give us some meat. We don't want manna. We want meat. Why don't you help us, Moses? Lord, hear the prayer of thy servant Moses. When should I have flesh to give unto all this people? For they weep unto me, saying, Give us flesh that we may eat. Say unto the people, Sanctify yourselves against tomorrow, and ye shall eat flesh. And ye shall not eat one day, nor two days, nor five days, neither ten days, nor twenty days, but even a whole month until it come out at your nostrils, and it be loathsome unto you. But, angel, the people among whom I am are six hundred thousand footmen. And the Lord hast said, I will give them flesh that they may eat a whole month. Shall the flocks and herds be slain for them to suffice them? Or shall all the fish of the sea be gathered together for them? Has the hand of the Lord become ungenerous? Thou shalt see now whether his word shall come to pass unto thee or not. And there went forth a wind from the Lord, and brought quails from the sea, and let them fall by the camp, as it were a day's journey on this side and on the other side, two cubits high upon the face of the earth. Look at those birds! There must be thousands of them! Millions of them! Oh, millions! Now we've got meat. Meat, meat at last. Oh, I can hardly wait to get my teeth into it. Roast quail. Oh, oh get a sack quickly. Let's pick up as many of them as we can. Well, get two sacks. Get three. Why, well, there's enough quail here to last us for weeks. More? Sure. What about you? Never refuse a third helping of quail. That's my motto. Uh, me too. Uh, I can't seem to get enough of this. Oh. Oh, my stomach. What's the matter? My stomach feels as if it's on fire. Oh, 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 if only I hadn't eaten so much. I'm coming down with a fever, too. Oh. And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the people were smote with a very great plague. 
and many of those who had murmured loudly against God and who had eaten too greedily of the quail died. And they called that place Kibrith Hateava, because there they buried the people who had so strongly desired meat. <laughs> <laughs> 